and what she would do as the bag lady. Hmm. Okay, which part? Just what she would do, because you were talking about how your life depended on all these other oh, women yeah. and all the parts that these people played. Well, yeah, Mary Hartzler car carried all the money to bail us out of jail. And, you know, when, when she would see us put into a van, you know, she would jump into a taxi cab and say, follow that van. She, she always wanted to say that. Uh, and, you know, and she would be there when we would get, you know, be loaded out and then put into the holding blocks and she would be holding our money or our IDs or medication or anything else that we needed. We always depended on her and she could raise the money and then we could pay her back. But that's the other yeah. thing she could do that, you know, none of us could do. You know, she could, you know, she said, no, oh, sugar bowls and cookie jars because she was a businesswoman. Yeah. So she knew how to raise money. And there were women who had good government jobs. They couldn't afford to get arrested. But they were the ones that could write the three hundred dollar checks to get us out of jail. Right. So we'd all be in it together. When I went down to the women's march, I was going with some uh, women who were actually older than me. They were in their eighties, and they found out I was with now, and they were kind of apologetic, and they said, "Oh, gee, I never did very much with now. I was a member, but I just didn't do very much." And I said. That's okay. I spent your money wisely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. There's enough guilt thrown at women. We don't need to be throwing it at each other. Yeah. You know, we just need to assume and help everybody do the best they can. 